Thomas Taylor was an English translator and Neoplatonist, the first to translate into English the complete works of Aristotle and of Plato, as well as the Orphic fragments. Biography Born in London, Taylor was educated at St. Paul's School, and devoted himself to the study of the classics and of mathematics. After first working as a clerk in Lubbock's Bank, he was appointed Assistant Secretary to the Society for the Encouragement of Art, in which capacity he made many influential friends, who furnished the means for publishing his various translations, which besides Plato and Aristotle, include Proclus, Porphyry, Apuleius, Ocellus Lucanus and other Neoplatonists and Pythagoreans. His aim was the translation of all the untranslated writings of the ancient Greek philosophers. Taylor was an admirer of Hellenism, most especially in the philosophical framework furnished by Plato and the Neoplatonists Proclus and the most divine Iamblichus, whose works he translated into English. So enamored was he of the ancients that he and his wife talked to one another only in classical Greek. He was also an outspoken voice against corruption in the Christianity of his day, and what he viewed as its shallowness. Taylor was ridiculed and acquired many enemies, but in other quarters he was well received. Among his friends was the eccentric traveller and philosopher John Walking Stewart, whose gatherings Taylor was in the habit of attending. Taylor married his childhood sweetheart Mary Morton in 1777, and they had four sons, George Burrow Taylor, John Buller Taylor, William Granger Taylor and Thomas Taylor. Their daughter, Mary Meredith Taylor, was named after his generous patron William Meredith and married a haberdasher, Samuel Beverly Jones. His wife died in 1809. He married again, and his second wife Susanna died in 1823. From his second marriage he had one son, Thomas Proclus Taylor. Thomas Taylor died in Walworth. Influence The texts that he used had been edited since the 16th century, but were interrupted by lacunae. Taylor's understanding of the Platonists informed his suggested emendations. His translations were influential on William Blake, Percy Bysshe Shelley and William Wordsworth. In American editions they were read by Ralph Waldo Emerson, Bronson Alcott, and G. R. S. Mead, secretary to Helena Blavatsky of the Thesosophical Society. Taylor also published several original works on philosophy and mathematics. These works have been republished by the Prometheus Trust. It appears that he and his wife were landlords at Walworth in the late 1770s to a family that included the 18-year-old Mary Wollstonecraft. It is not clear whether the future author of A Vindication of the Rights of Woman actually knew the Taylors, as at that age she left home for a job as a lady's companion. Consideration of Wollstonecraft's 1792 magnum opus together with Thomas Paine's Rights of Man, inspired Taylor in his A Vindication of the Rights of Brutes. If men and women have rights, why not animals too? List of Works 1780 The Elements of a New Method of Reasoning in Geometry, Applied to the Rectification of the Circle. 1782 Ocellus Lucanus on the Nature of the Universe. 1787 The Mystical Initiations or Hymns of Orpheus, with a preliminary dissertation on the life and theology of Orpheus concerning the beautiful, or, a paraphrased translation from the Greek of Plotinus, Ennea Die, Book V. 1788-89 The Philosophical and Mathematical Commentaries of Proclus on the First Book of Euclid's Elements, and His Life by Marinus with a preliminary dissertation on the Platonic doctrine of ideas, to which are added a history of the restoration of the Platonic theology by the later Platonists, two vols. 1798 Dissertation on the Alicinian and Bacchic Mysteries. 1792 A Vindication of the Rights of Brutes The Phaedrus of Plato, a dialogue concerning beauty and love an essay on the beautiful, with a preliminary dissertation on the Platonic doctrine of ideas, to which are added a history of the restoration of the Platonic theology by the later Platonists, two vols. 
1793 Salust on the Gods and the World and the Pythagoric Sentences of Demophilus, and five hymns by Proclus, to which are added five hymns by the translator, two orations of the Emperor Julian, one to the Sovereign Son, and the other to the Mother of the Gods, with notes and a copious introduction for dialogues of Plato, the Cratylus, Phaedo, Parmenides and Timaeus. 1794 Pausanias' is description of Greece five books of Plotinus, viz. On felicity, on the nature and origin of evil, on providence, on nature, contemplation, and the one, and on the descent of the soul. 1795 The fable of Cupid and Psyche, to which are added a poetical paraphrase on the speech of Diatoma in the Banquet of Plato, four hymns with an introduction, in which the meaning of the fable is unfolded. 1801 Aristotle's Metaphysics, to which is added a dissertation on nullities and diverging series. 1803 Hedrick's Greek Lexicon. 1804 Four Letters from Thomas Taylor, the Platonist, to Charles Taylor, Secretary of the Society of Arts, 1800-1804, an answer to Dr. Gillies's supplement to his new analysis of Aristotle's works The Dissertations of Maximus Tyrius, two vols, the works of Plato, viz. his 55 Dialogues and 12 Epistles, five vols. 1805 Miscellanies in Prose and Verse, containing the triumph of the wise man over fortune according to the doctrine of the Stoics and Platonists, the creed of the Platonic philosopher, a panegyric on Sydenham. 1806 Collectony, or collections consisting of miscellanies inserted in the European and monthly magazines, with an appendix containing some hymns never before printed. 1807 The Treatises of Aristotle on the Heavens. 1809 The Elements of the True Arithmetic of Infinites, in which all the propositions on the arithmetic of infinites invented by Dr. Wallace relative to the summation of fluxions are demonstrated to be false, and the nature of infinitesimals is unfolded. The History of Animals of Aristotle and his treatise on physiognomy The Arguments of the Emperor Julian against the Christians to which are added extracts from the other works of Julian relative to the Christians. 1810 The Commentaries of Proclus on the Timaeus of Plato. 1811 The Rhetoric, Poetic and Nicomachean Ethics of Aristotle. 1812 The Works of Aristotle, with copious elucidations from the best of his Greek commentators. 9 vols. A Dissertation on the Philosophy of Aristotle, 1816 A Dissertation on the Eleusinian and Bacchic Mysteries Theoretic Arithmetic, in three books, containing the substance of all that has been written on this subject by Theo of Smyrna, Nicomachus, Iamblichus, and Boetius. The six books of Proclus, the Platonic successor, on the theology of Plato, two vols. 1817 Remarks on the Demon of Socrates' Use of Arches Known Among the Ancient Select Works of Plotinus, and Extracts from the Treatise of Synesius on Providence, with an introduction containing the substance of Porphyry's Life of Plotinus. 1818 Collection of the Chaldean Oracles or Fic Fragments. Hitherto unedited remarks on the passage in Stobaeus on a peculiar signification of the words Demas and Soma the rhetoric, poetic and Nicomachean ethics of Aristotle, two vols. Iamblichus a life of Pythagoras, or Pythagoric life, accompanied by fragments of the ethical writings of certain Pythagoreans in the Doric dialect, and a collection of Pythagoric sentences from Stobaeus and others. 1819 On the philosophical meaning of the words bios, kimina, enigma, and systema on the antiquity of alchemy on the coincidence between the belts of the planet Jupiter and the fabulous bonds of Jupiter the Demiurgis. 1820 Important additions to the first Alcibiades, and Timaeus of Plato Important discovery of the original of many of the sentences of Sextus Pythagoricus Discovery of a verse of Homer and error of Chiesling Platonic demonstration of the immortality of the soul on the theology of the Greeks Miscellanies in prose and verse containing the triumph of the wise man over fortune according to the doctrine of the Stoics and Platonists 
the creed of the Platonic philosopher, a panegyric on Sidonum, the commentaries of Proclus on the Timaeus of Plato, two vols, 1821 on the mythology of the Greeks, notice of Professor Cousins' edition of the two first books of Proclus on the Parmenides of Plato Iamblichus, on the mysteries of the Egyptians, Chaldeans, and Assyrians. 1822 Observations on Professor Cousins' edition of the Commentaries of Proclus on the First Alcibiades of Plato Observations on that part of a work, entitled Empedocles a Parmenides Fragment of the Metamorphosis, or Golden Ass, and Philosophical Works of Apuleius Political Fragments of Archites, Cherendus, Zay Lucas, and other ancient Pythagoreans preserved by Stobaeus, and also ethical fragments of Hierocles, the celebrated commentator on the Pythagoric verses preserved by the same author. 1823 The elements of a new arithmetical notation and of a new arithmetic of infinite observations on the cruiser's edition of the commentary of Olypiodorus on the first Alcibiades of Plato observations on the scolia of Hermes on the Phaedrus of Plato select works of Paul Free, containing his four books on abstinence from animal food, his treatise on the Homeric cave of the nymphs, and his auxiliaries to the perception of intelligible natures, with an appendix explaining the allegory of the wanderings of Ulysses. 1824 Emendations of the text of Plato Observations on the Excerptor from the Scolia of Proclus on the Cratylus of Plato The Mystical Hymns of Orpheus demonstrated to be the invocations which were used in the Eleusinian Mysteries, with considerable emendations, alterations, and additions. The description of Greece by Pausanias, second edition with considerable augmentations, three vols. 1825 Classical Allusion to Democrates, notice of Professor Cousins' edition of the third. Fourth and Fifth Books of Proclus on the Parmenides of Plato Biblical Criticism The Fragments That Remain of the Lost Writings of Proclus 1829 Corruption of Demiurgus Extracts from Some of the Lost Works of Aristotle, Xenocrates, and Theophrastus 1830 Arguments of Celsus, Porphyry, and the Emperor Julian, Against the Christians 1831 Ocellus Lucanus on the Nature of the Universe Taurus, the Platonic philosopher, on the eternity of the world, Julius Firmicus Maternus of the Tema Mundi, in which the positions of the stars at the commencement of the several mundane periods is given, select theorems on the perpetuity of time by Proclus. 1833 Two treatises of Proclus, the Platonic successor, the former consisting of ten doubts concerning providence, and a solution of those doubts, and the latter containing a development of the nature of evil. 1834 Translations from the Greek of the following treatises of Plotinus, on suicide, to which is added an extract from the Hall, Mas of the Scolia of Olympiodorus on the Phaedo of Plato respecting suicide, two books on truly existing being, and extracts from his treatise on the manner in which the multitude of ideas subsists, and concerning the good, with additional notes from Porphyry and Proclus.